everyone. Let's do this. We are here today to talk about a retail revolution. Um, as we know, it is 2024. Gone of the, are the days of just talking multi-channel, omni-channel, which means online, in-store, mobile, everything. It's really where sales are happening. Sales are happening everywhere. And so keeping up with it is, you know, really difficult, very complex. Data is moving across all parts of the world, clearly, as we're talking today to folks from everywhere. Um, and, and for sellers to keep up with that, it's becoming even more difficult. And so we are here with our partners from Square, who we'll introduce in a little bit, to talk about how sellers can get ahead in such a dynamic marketplace. All right. So what is on the agenda for today? Again, we are talking all things automation from your warehouse to suppliers. Um, and obviously it always comes down to profitability and margins. Uh, we'll kind of do some high level discussion on automation benefits and opening up the floor for Q and A. Real quick, before we move out forward, um, as you saw with the chat, you are welcome to input questions there. Uh, we have teams who can answer your questions right as they come. We will also be sure to save time in the end to answer any remaining questions you have. Um, what else is happening? After this webinar is done, we will be sure to send the recording out. So if you need to kind of hit pause in your life, take a break, come back, go for it, that's okay. We will send you that recording. You'll be able to catch up. Um, but otherwise, we look forward to a great show. All right, let's get going. You can see here that I'm joined by a couple of friendly faces. So real quick, Hi everyone, Pauline from Finale. I oversee marketing and my job here is really to make sure that the sellers who really wanna grow and scale have the best tools to help them do so. Um, at Finale, you know, we are one of those where collaborating with our sellers, helping them grow is really what we love to do with software and a team to help support all throughout the um, product lifestyle product life cycle, sorry. And here we have Tom and Jerry Lee from Square. Great partners. We've been working them for a little bit and I will let you guys introduce yourselves. Thank you so much for having us. Super excited to be here. My name is Jerry Lee Ramos and I am a retail account executive here at Square. I work directly with sellers in identifying their needs, really committed to empowering small businesses to help streamline operations. Um, I work really closely with, with Tom and the team, so I'll pass it to Tom. Thanks, Shirley, and, and thanks, Pauline. And hi, everyone. Really nice to, to be chatting about uh, the Square and Finale integration today. My name is Tom. I'm a retail product specialist here at Square, so I support our sales teams and account management teams when they're having conversations with retailers. Um, and I help uh, those teams identify uh, if whether or not a seller needs to leverage uh, Finale's product as well. Very good, great. Yeah, we work really closely with them. We talk about seller use cases all the time. And so uh, one, of the, one of the threads that tends to go through our chats and sellers is all around food. And so we're here today, I love food. We're gonna talk about food some more um, and you know other use cases as well, but don't be surprised that this is all around this charcuterie board here. When we think about automation and what is necessary for success comes down to three very simple things, right? First of all, just that, keep it simple. Um, use quality ingredients, work with really good partners and make sure everything works together. And so kind of like your taste buds, you wanna make sure that all the flavors are meshing together. If your tech stack isn't talking with it, you know, one another, then that's really not automation. Because again, if you have to have manual steps to connect your software solutions, that's really not automation. So uh, we're here today to talk about, sure, the um, omni-channel workflow, in addition to how the Square Finale integration really is that full piece of technology to help you going throughout that, throughout your sales cycle. All right, first things first. We are clearly here on a global scale. We have sellers from all over the world joining us today. But even as it comes down to retail, to e-commerce, to omni-channel, we're looking at thousands of square footage in a warehouse and having to nail down that exact product is can be really difficult. So uh, Square Team, share with us you know, what you're hearing from sellers, what are they up against, 
what keeps them up at night about being able to fulfill orders? Yeah, this is huge. Effective um, inventory management is a critical aspect for retailers, especially those operating um, across multiple locations, such as jewelry stores, bike shop, liquor stores, really any retailers. Um, these businesses, along you know, with sellers who sell um, or and need to track both raw materials and finished goods, require you know a robust system. Um, that allows them to share inventory quantities between the locations um, and having the ability to manage stock and sales across various warehouses or fulfillment centers. And here we're, we've been talking about uh, businesses that have multiple locations, but that's also true for a single location retailer that has a lot of very tiny items, so for example, jewelry stores or uh, home goods stores that have a lot of accessories. Um, you may have stock in the basement, you may have a lot of stock in the back. Uh, so even for those one location retailers, being able to pinpoint where your inventory is located is very important. And to be able to get a, a nice overview of how you're going through your inventory as well is really important, whether of one location or multiple locations. Yeah, yeah, it's so true. And and Tom, you talk about that pinpoint location. Absolutely right. So granular item location tracking is really important, whether you have really big products, but it's more complex when you talk about, like you said, jewelry, right? Um, so in our charcuterie example, you guys, we can even talk about how you have items that relate to a whole, right? So there's a cheese maker, and yes, they do wheels of cheese but they're also doing slices and being able to track the slices with the whole is a whole thing unto itself, right? Um, we mentioned here, even that last bullet is item level tracking for kits and bundles in a similar way. Kits and bundles are really important to the e-com strategy. As we know, being able to differentiate your products in variety packs, you know, or bundles, subscriptions, things like that is how to get ahead. But tracking for them is really difficult because you're tracking individual items on their one SKU, the kits and bundles on a separate SKU, and understanding the sales velocity behind those two separately can be can be really tricky. And so, you know, with a, a connected IMS to your sales channels, your store, your POS, your flea market, you know, event festival, um, sales table, all of it. You need to understand what do we have available, where where are my products, and where does everything stand? And so that's where Finale comes in with that whole like holistic level of inventory tracking, in addition to tracking within the warehouse sublocations, two other sales locations, two other warehouses, and again, individual and higher level item tracking. Yeah, and that's the, I like this example about cheese. I, I used to uh, to manage a cheese shop in the past, and and oh, I like okay. the the idea of of kits and bundles when you make cheese butter, when you make gift baskets, um, being able to know how many of those you can build, sell on multiple sales channels is very important, and also being able to find them easily is quite helpful. Exactly, exactly, and so right, so we talk about it down below. It's in the small font, but it's really important, right? The automation is enabling mitigated waste it's increasing efficiency within your warehouse and that's providing that real-time visibility at a granular level for what you have available to sell great all right next what are we hearing from sellers um things are moving really fast they have to stay ahead of customer expectations but doing so is a whole other story and they feel like they're actually behind the eight ball so again um, Square Team, Jerry Lee, Tom, let us know what is happening for our sellers here. What are, what keeps them up at night? Yeah, so I'll touch on seasonality. Um, retailers often face challenges related to seasonality. You know, having to manage um, inventory during peak season, um, sales period, or de dealing with slow season that could be very um, stressful. You know, where they could run out or overstock. Um, having a software to man to help manage these challenges um, that provides a, a robust reporting 
forecasting tools to better manage seasonality leads um, to enable sellers make more informed purchasing decisions. Yeah, and we'll, we'll touch on that a little bit later as well. Square has some uh, great tools in terms of marketing and loyalty that can help you uh, run through that, that inventory. Um, but having a, a system such as Finale that can allow you to uh, better anticipate um, what are the products that sold well over the last few years or the last few seasons? What are the products that didn't sell as well? Um, you'll have access to all of that data that will help you uh, think about um, reordering on time and in the right amount because you want to avoid uh, most likely having uh, too much money sitting on the shelves. Um, and that's, that's when our partnership comes in quite handy. That's right. Perfect. And thank you for queuing this up perfectly, Tom. Exactly. So there is overselling, but there's also overstocking, right? And overstocking then means that your your money is all tied up. Your revenue is tied up in things that aren't selling, right? So we talk about efficient ordering, not only not even just what needs to be reordered, but when do I need to order it in order to get ahead of that sales velocity? Jerry Lee, thank you. Seasonality. All day long, we could talk about seasonality and how important that is. And so, you know, understanding, yes, there's sales velocity for the past 30, 60, 90. But what's going to happen in Q4? What's going to happen ahead of your grand opening for the store, for your other store location, right? What's going to happen for, let's just say, Prime Day, what have you? Being able to go back and look at historical data is just as important for kind of what's happening in the now. And... Finale and Square enables you to do that. So Finale will pull Square sales from your various locations and you always have that data. So you can go back, pull a report and kind of see how sales fledged up to these key milestones to be able to make a decision about what's coming down the pike. Um, what else? What happened? What else goes into your reordering besides sales velocity is quantity in hand and variance. So really good example from our charcuterie uh, evening that we're having here is wine glasses, right? So there's breakage that gets involved with categories like this. And so while you may have ordered 100, received 95, but by the time it kind of went through the warehouse, some broke, that variance needs to be reported and reflected so you know what's available to sell, how are your... Um, you know, financial metrics going to look at the end of the month if you're X number of units short. So again, all of that tracking is really important for, for sales outright, absolutely. But then even kind of what happens down funnel, how many were you able to fulfill? How many do you have in your warehouse? What do you need? What don't you need? Um, and so units of measure as well, you know, you can buy one, one glass, or six. And so being able to track all of that from your suppliers on your shelves for your listings is really important. We're, we're talking about food a lot here. And I think it makes a lot of sense for those points. Think about a grocery store, for example, or a convenience store where you're going to have perishable items on the shelves. Um, having that sales for the city data that could help you um, potentially start a marketing campaign if, if you use it or consider doing marketing campaigns to help navigate those those items is is uh is necessary for any any retail business really yeah i think the marketing and the loyalty piece is really interesting because you know there's there's a way to turn regular you know, customers into these loyal right loyal customers and that's everyone knows it is cheaper to maintain a customer than to pay for a new one. And so between tracking of the orders, understanding what they really like, you can build a whole program around these like incentives, these bonus items, and how you really just nurture and keep that those brand ambassadors going. So that's really cool. Um, all right, so we talk about, there's like multiple written five times on the slide. Multiple storefronts, multiple channels, multiple locations, multiple reorder points, right? Multiple units of measure. And that's the thing. As, as businesses grow, the complexity of their business also grows. 
And using automation is really the only way to keep all your ducks in a row. And so manage all of those multiple everythings um, to reduce error. There are errors in one warehouse. Can you imagine if you have multiple locations and multiple warehouses? Like it just, it's exponential um, in addition to the time saving, right? So we hear from finale sellers that they're saving hours per person, hours per person per day, picking and packing orders. When you, you know, multiply that out to the weeks and the years, they're literally saving months at a time. Saving time, saving money, streamlining reporting is what it's all about. All right, so talking about out, let's get those orders pushed out, but let's know that we're doing it in a way that's beyond just the good enough, beyond meeting those minimums. Yeah, in the context of like a deli, bakery, or grocery store, adhering to industry compliance and regulations is, is super critical. Um, this includes the ability to uh, manage recalls effectively, or even having the ability to repurpose items to create their their own food products. Um, you know, in the event of a product recall. Um, businesses must have a robust system in place to quickly and remove uh, and efficiently remove all effective items from their inventory, notify their vendors, notify their customers if necessary. Yeah, this is uh, this is very important uh, to be able to manage the relationship with your vendors and uh, especially your customers. You don't want to take risk for your business, but you don't also don't want to put your uh, customers at risk either. So you want to be able to communicate with them effectively. So you can leverage Square to communicate with them, but Finale comes in really handy to help you uh, make sure um, that you have the right tools to communicate with your customers on labels or to find uh, products that had a recall based on a serial number or not ID, for example. Yeah, bingo. And I think um, you may have read about it in the um, headlines over the weekend or into early this week, but there was recently um, a listeria outbreak amongst cheese. It's going in the theme with this webinar, perfectly fit. But so they had to have those recalls across major retailers. And obviously everyone on this call, we know that that's happening through these this lot tracking ability, right? Um, and so again, really important to be able to have labels and tracking at a very specific item level. So before we were talking about specific tracking to a bin location, now we're talking about unique product identification. And so um, again, we've done a lot of food examples. Other industries we can talk about are the health and beauty industries, right? Um, we need those expiration dates on there for medications, devices, et cetera. Um, and even for electronic sellers and serialization, right? Um, Uh-oh, those batteries are having some issues for consumers. How can we recall them back? Serialization, let me say that again. Serialization is what's gonna be really important there. Um, obviously, we're talking about expiration dates here with food, that's an easy one. Um, but again, barcode labeling, even having labeling on products that help identify ingredients, allergens, you know, California prop warnings, lithium battery, you know, pictures, Finale is able to create those custom labels for all of it. Um, fun bonus, we've learned of a seller who's actually using their, the Finale barcode labels in store so that in store they have like shelf talkers basically. Um, price, obviously, title description, and then there's a QR code that Finale drives that sends them to the web store to get more information. So talk about like an omni-channel experience that's using online tools with Finale inventory to help inform an in-store purchase. So yes, let's meet marketing, um, you know, let's have some fun with marketing, but it's also about meeting compliance requirements. Yeah, and uh, having worked in a in a cheese shop, as I as I mentioned earlier, having the ability to leverage a system such as Finale to be able to label products, or if you have items that you want to repurpose to make grab and go um, items, for example, you're gonna have to design and use your own labels. Make sure you have listed all the ingredients, maybe recipes. 
uh, to reheat the the grab and go item. So um, Finale works really well in that in that matter for sure. Yeah, that's great. And then again, we work really well together, right, Tom? Because we talk about this trace back to the purchaser. We can let you know about the item, but Square is going to be that other missing piece to really say, "Hey, retailer, here's here are those customers you have to go back after." And when we talk about like a good customer experience, yes, sure, get the right product out of the warehouse, but also if something's wrong, take care of your customers. And that's the piece that Square really can help with. Cool. All right. So in a similar way, you're pushing out orders, but are you getting them out well enough? There's thinking you're doing things right from a business perspective and knowing you're doing things right from a business perspective. So how can, um, you know, how can sellers face this in a, in a better way, you guys, Square team? Um, what are they looking at? What are issues they face on a day-to-day -day basis? Definitely. So customization comes to mind here, um, you know, for, for a bike shop, being able to customize options for bikes can be a, a unique selling point. Um, customers can choose different hardware parts, accessories, creating a, a personalized product and overall a fun experience. Um, this can increase customer satisfaction as well as potentially lead to higher sales and um, increased uh, average ticket size. And the one piece that's really important within all of that is what's, what's your cost for your services or products um, for anything that you offer to your, to your customers. Um, Managing the relationship with your customers will be done within Square. It will be fast, will be easy. Um, but then you want to make sure you're not losing money anywhere else. Or even if you can make more money somewhere else, uh, that's when Finale can, can help. Let's make more money. Perfect. That's why we're all here today. Very good. So yeah, so um, clearly Finale talks with Square. Finale also talks with your suppliers to understand that cost of goods sold. So we know, um, you know, what you paid for it, what you're selling it for, and then what's your profit, you know, that, that return um, in between. Finale also talks to QuickBooks Online. And so while we're really good at a, you know, financial reporting, clearly the, the QuickBooks Online piece is going to really take that and escalate the the detail in which you can receive these profitability reports across your sales channels, including, um, you know, warehouse costs, team costs, packaging costs, et cetera, that all relates into your business. Finale has one view, QuickBooks Online will have even more and pulled in with more square um, data that, that flows into QuickBooks. And, you know, you have a really robust view of how you're performing, always staying on top of what's working, what's not. Um, one example here that I have is that I knew a seller who worked with worked really hard to get a big deal for a Q4 promotion of their product. So, you know, there were fees that they took on in order to get to this exposure. Um, the issue was that at the end of Q4, we're like in January, we're celebrating sales, you guys. We sold so many units, which was phenomenal. But when we look at the cost to have that product made and the hit we took on the promotion, it actually was at a loss, which was just such a hit to obviously our bottom line, but even, right, we had like rejoicing Q4 and now we were actually starting from behind. So really understanding those costs is so important to get ahead of that advertising um, promotion fees, to understand your profit margins, what is your wiggle room when you're doing at various activities, working with vendors on certain deals, and even looking at those sales channels. You guys know that there are <laughs> those fees add up quickly. And if you're not staying on top of those fees per sales channel with all in costs, things could really surprise you. I was actually talking to a uh, this morning to a home goods and, and furniture store um, that does a lot of uh, marketing campaigns and promotions in store and online as well via, via Square. Um, and they didn't seem to have or to have thought through well enough about 
making sure that they were not losing money. Uh, so we talked about it for a while. Um, and systems like Finale will definitely help you make sure you're not losing money, even though you're sending marketing campaigns or uh, organizing promotions online, uh, in-store or at events. Because uh, yes, you want to make it attractive to your customers, but is it worth you losing money on some products? Not Maybe not necessarily. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, that's a good point. Maybe not necessarily. I like how you phrase that because sometimes, uh, you know, we hear that sellers do have a loss leader. They have one or two items that they know are really attractive to new customers, but they're kind of like the bait to get them to buy bigger things at a higher profit margin. So I like that you really distinguish that between like maybe not necessarily. Sometimes it's a good idea. If there's a strategy involved, great. Let's do that all day long. Let's get Right, Jerry, you talked about like higher carts, like larger cart value size, perfect strategy. But if you have loss to products that you're unaware of, that's what we want to help you with. We want to bring visibility to those circumstances where you have like no clue that you're actually losing money. Well, well, well said, Tom. All right, so this next slide just really shows how, where Finale sits. Uh, we talk about data and workflows all day long. And this is kind of how everything flows and pieces together. So you can see that we're taking in sales orders and stock updates, you know, from sales channels and warehouses. We're pushing that back up. We pull it back in and we're always in this real time sync so that your sales channels are always reflecting across each other what is available to sell. Um, at the same time, again, we've talked about promotions, we've talked about whatever, off-site festivals. If you need committed inventory, Finale can handle that as well. The goal is always to avoid overselling in that regard. So again, those things, the committed inventory, really important to avoid overstocking. That's kind of below Finale, right? So we talk about what are the right products you need to be reordering, when do you need to reorder them by, and how much informing our sellers is really, really important here. And when I, when I see this slide, what, what I think about is um, if you're about to start a new business or if you have a one location business that you've owned for a while or run for a while, um, this slide may feel a bit overwhelming because you may not have a warehouse. You may not have the need to do B2B. However, the, the importance of not overselling, especially if you sell your products online, um, is a top priority for all the retailers that we've been talking to. Um, and that's when the Finale and Square integration makes sure you're never gonna be overselling a product that was just purchased online and then someone comes in at the same time in store to buy it. Um, you need to be able to be alerted that, uh, hey, watch out, this, order, this item is not available anymore um, so that you don't have disappointed customers either. Yeah, and, and that's a good point too. You know, we work with sellers across all stages and we find that when sellers first get to us, they have like one sales channel and one warehouse that they've just exploded and are doing really well. But you add another sales channel or another warehouse location. And again, once you add these other um, entities, things get much more complex and keeping everything in line becomes just more and more important because again, your order volume, maybe you're coming in your order volume at like a hundred orders a day, respectable, absolutely. But we're looking to scale companies to 500, 1000, multiple thousands of orders a day. And to get to that level, thousands of orders a day, your business and your process and your teams need to scale accordingly. And you need to look for the right systems, partners, tools that will enable you to do that. No, the last thing that I want to add here, sorry, Pauline. Um, <clears throat> Finale is a great system when you're actually dreaming or you started thinking about how can I increase my volume uh, by selling my products in different um, uh, channels that are, that are fairly new to me. Uh, if I were to start my own business today, I would be scared from the idea of selling on Amazon or FAIR, for example, but Finale helps you in that process. They have really good integration with those marketplaces that make the experience really smooth for you if you want to um, extend the, the sales channels you, you want to leverage to increase your volume. 
Thank you. Yeah, I appreciate that. And we have a great team who helps, uh, you know, kind of help guide along the way too. So, um, all right. So if we look at the next slide, we're talking about this full automation omnichannel solution and the value, right? So we are automating workflows, reporting, calculations, regulatory compliance, omnichannel integration, soup to nuts, the workflow. Um, and again, the reason is because we want to mitigate errors, make sure that there are no manual mistakes happening. We're all human, we get it. But with the software, we're able to move faster while also being more accurate. And so that efficiency piece is really how sellers are getting ahead, ahead of their competition, is because they're doing more in less time and paying less, right? So you guys just think about it. If you're pushing orders out, but you're making mistakes, just think about all the costs, all the time that comes by managing returns, right? So getting those order error rates down, getting the right products out means that your team has more time to do the things that matter as opposed to receiving returns, evaluating them, putting them back in the shelf, you know, throwing them out the door, whatever your disposal kind of path is, following up with the customer, getting the right thing, sending them the new tracking number, like the whole process happens in the background again and again, but it's at a loss this time, right? Because the money that you spent on the team and the product in the first place now is coming back as a credit. And now you're having to send it all out again. Maybe you're shipping that out at a cost to you this time. You know, all of that really hurts the bottom line. And so we're here to make sure that sellers are profitable, right? As, as a goal, I think that's a pretty good goal. Yes, we talk about reducing overselling, reducing overstocking, but let's make you guys make sure everyone is profitable so they can keep on doing what they're doing. When we when we talk about automation here, we have a prime example of the meaning of automation and how it helps businesses. So Global Battery Direct is a business that leverages both Finale um, for inventory management, as well as Square for uh, their um, in-person uh, sales and transactions. And um, what they're saying here, the quote from, from that business is, having the ability to set up automations to share or alert uh, different staff levels about inventory, about reporting, uh, helps save time um, and anticipate what needs to be done uh, right away. And when we talk about um, automation, um, here you see us talk about two systems that are integrated to so Finale and Square. It's all automated. Um, so you can create automations for your inventory, uh, but also on the other on the other end, you'll be also you'll also be able to create automations in terms of sending marketing campaigns based on specific customer behaviors from uh, your Square Marketing uh, dashboard, for example. Um, so it's all about automation. We want to, even though you'd be using two different systems, um, we'll, we'll be saving you some time and money as well. Amen to that. Um, so Square for Retail is a comprehensive solution that empowers businesses of all sizes. Um, Square is more than just a processor. We offer um, full integrated ecosystem of products from hardware, software payments, all the way up to financial services. Um, we are known for secure and relate reliable payment processing with PCI compliance and the fastest chip card reader in the market. Um, it, it ensures smooth, quick uh, checkout flows, whether it's at the sales counter or on the go. Um, where Square is super unique is where uh, it's really the customer data piece. Um, Square's platform is really built for customers' experience and makes sure customers are, are returning. Um, leveraging our unique uh, marketing and loyalty tools, and, and that kind of coincides with, you know, the inventory we're selling um, that's managed by Finale. Um, on top of that, the Square for Retail also has uh, Square Teams and Shifts integrated for effective team management um, with time tracking and also first payroll solutions available. Um, in essence, with Finale, um, Square and Finale is here really to give 
um, sellers time back. I know, I know we've, we've touched on that a lot today, allowing, um, to have sellers focus on, on what truly matters, which is enhancing the customer experience, um, and also running their business. We want to, we definitely want to help as a team. So Finale and Square, we want to help, help you focus on your customers because that's who you're selling your products to. Um, and that starts with payments. So Square started as a payment processor and we're the best in class for, for that. And we built on uh, tools on top of it, uh, such as point of sales and team management, loyalty marketing features. Um, that make it very easy for you to spend time where you think you need to spend the most time while uh, working with Finale to manage your in inventory in the most optimum way. Awesome, thanks. Um, Jerley, you mentioned, you know, getting time back and that's actually one of my most favorite uh, customer quotes. It's not here, but we were told by one of our sellers that because mm -hmm. of Finale, they had accurate up to the minute stock counts that they trusted. The keyword is that wow. they trusted, which mm -hmm. then meant that their team had off on December 31st. And he's oh, like, wow. in all of the years that they're them as a company, as a brand were around, which is again, years and years and years, they have only ever had off once finale was in their tool belt because they didn't have to do inventory counts. They knew just by looking it up, what their accounts were, what their valuation is, send it to the accountant and they were done for the day. So that was like total Q4 success right there. Um, yeah, that's, that's amazing. Like giving the time back even to, you know, like the owner, the staff and the whole entire team. Absolutely, doing, absolutely. Yes. Doing an inventory count after peak season around the holidays yeah. is very painful. So uh, that mm -hmm. sounds great. <laughs> Quite a testament, quite a testament. Um, yeah, so, you know, we're known as Finale Inventory, but really more and more sellers look to us as that omni-channel hub for their data. Um, again, we're talking about brick and mortar, e-commerce, retail, and, and thanks to Square, out on the festival floor. Um, FBA is obviously clearly really, really important to our sellers as well, and we can handle all of that at scale. Something that's on here is, you know, how easy it is to get started with Finale with the free onboarding. It's also really easy to get started with Square. And I think that, you know, if you came in knowing about one or the other, we work the same way. Easy to get started with both of us, as well as straightforward pricing. And I think that makes things just so much easier, right? Working with teams, companies that are transparent and are here and willing to help just goes such a long way. Um, and again, like I said, the barcoding system is really how finale sellers ramp up even faster, really get ahead, customizable user interface, screens, reporting, et cetera. You know, businesses are different. Every business is set up in a different, unique way, even if you're in the same industry. And so finale is able to cus be customized according to how our sellers need it, no matter what product category. And so we have like, solar, fashion, beauty, auto, um, hobbies, food, clearly food and beverage, you know, like across the gamut Finale can help out. And we're really proud of just how, you know, adaptable Finale can be. And so for those looking to start their omnichannel automation uh, journey on the right foot, we have a couple of promotions here with Finale. You can get 20% off your first three months uh, by using the code AUTOMATION24, exclusive to our webinar attendees today, in addition to Square, uh, if you guys want to present yours as well. Yeah, if uh, if you wanted to talk to us, um, you may qualify for up to $5,000 in free Square hardware. We have quite a few options uh, that look amazing, that our uh, that end customers uh, of our sellers love to, to leverage. Um, so yeah, get in touch with us and we'll, we'll help you navigate that, uh, that conversation. Yeah, perfect. Uh, Sam just put in a Google form and you'll see in the slide, it says, if you'd like to speak to one of our teams, fill out the form here, kind of just raise your hand, put your form, put your information in the form. Um, our teams will follow up accordingly if you're interested in Square, Finale or both. Great. Um, we will certainly remind you of these promotions. So don't worry, you know, 
we pride ourselves on being cost effective and really here to help sellers. Um, and so with these promotions, hopefully that goes even further. So let us know. We're kind of at that point where we can also take questions. So um, let us know what's in your mind. Was anything unclear? Are you looking for a specific feedback? Chat it in. We also have a couple of questions that were kind of sent in with RSVPs. So um, let's see how the questions go in the chat and we can see if we pull from our bank. Ryan Kramer, shout out. Thanks for joining us today. Questions to the square team or the finale team. Don't be shy, guys. Kirk, thanks for coming. Questions about inventory, questions about your kind of POS, questions about the marketing and the loyalty program that Square has. We are here for you guys. Um, all right, so we have um, around the POS experience, how do we keep track of customer data? Square team, I'm gonna shoot this one to you. Yeah, I can, I can take this one. Um, so as I mentioned earlier, uh, we Square set it as a payment processor for a few years back, and then we built on a bunch of tools on top of it. Um, one of the main benefits of Square that it's, I would say, still unspoken for is um, Square, as, Square as a payment processor and merchant of record. We have access to some um, customer data attached to credit cards. So whenever a customer will come in and pay with a credit card, um, you have the ability to turn on a setting that will generate a customer profile automatically um, with the first and last name usually that's attached to the credit card. Moving forward, um, you also have the ability to manually add customers to transactions. And even if you don't, and a customer came three months ago and use their uh, their credit card at your store, and then they come back. Uh, you haven't had really an interaction with them to get to to know them, but they use the same credit card information. That secondary transaction will be merged under the same uh, customer profile. Um, and then whether you added a customer manually through the transaction or that's happening automatically in the background, all of that information will be available from your customer directory in your Square dashboard, where you'll be able to filter through your customers by how much they spend or what are the items that they buy the most or um, which are the customers that didn't come back in the last six months, for example. And then from there, you'll be able to group customers, you'll be able to message them, you'll be able to send them marketing campaigns. Uh, that will help you stay connected or reconnect with your customers and make sure they come back, um, visit your, your store or one of your stores and purchase again or purchase a little bit more next time. Nice, nice. Having that piece is huge, right? So clearly you have that from the, the sales perspective and then being able to leverage that further. Loyalty, bring them back, right? Really great. Um, let's see, we know Finale does a software for inventory, but how does that tie to warehouse and larger workflow efficiency? So great. So it really comes down to two things. In terms of larger workflow efficiency, you guys, it's all about having the product data from supplier through the sale and out to fulfillment. Because we know all the costs, the counts, the channels that are driving it, the suppliers who are bringing it in, we have all that with that within Finale to know what's working, what's not, what's selling. Again, we talk about that sales velocity. We can have all of that customized reporting because we have the data on the counts across everything. Um, in terms of the warehouse, the key piece is the barcode scanning gun. Um, so it is a mobile barcoding app that um, you know, works with iOS, I'm sorry, works with Android, Android scanning guns, um, and having that across your team members, again, across the workflow from receiving to stock puts, you know, putting them away back on shelves, assigning them to those sub locations, tracking all that with a scanner, to pick and packing, to verifying orders, to getting them out, and that whole process again, that scan gun expedites the workflows tremendously 
But again, it all comes down to the tracking of each scan is where the value comes in because now you're able to see, um, again, your warehouse team who is picking and packing at 30 items per hour, per minute, you know, who's doing it at five. And so it's really important to get ahead of your staff, your team and efficiencies. Um, let's see. Um, I see Square will push the stock to Amazon and other marketplaces, but Finale's already, yes, exactly. So if we, if we want to go back to that workflow, Finale is at the hub and we are pushing stock um, counts up and out to marketplaces, warehouses, et cetera. Um, Square is really here for that POS, that point of sale. And so Square is the partner for your in-store experience to be able to transact, you know, in live in person, in real life, face-to-face -face store locations. Um, anything Square team you want to add on to that piece? No, to uh, to begin to ask question, it's uh, keep in mind that that finale is going to be the the center point of your inventory uh, across multiple sales channel. Amazon will be one of them. Square will be one of them. But Square, what we'll do here is really focus on your uh, in person uh, experience selling items physically, uh, while you want to make sure that you're not overselling via your Square sales or Amazon sales. Uh, and that's when Finale will help you navigate all of that. But um, Square will not push directly to um, to other marketplaces. It will go through Finale. Yep, great. Uh, we had one last question here that's kind of a nice one to close things out for the day. What is the number one realization that sellers are coming to when working with Square or Finale? Um, I will say that from a finale perspective that our sellers are surprised that we actually support them beyond the sales cycle. Um, you know, a lot of times when you're in the process, you know, all your answers, questions are answered, you get solutions, but we really make sure that we're helping our clients from day one to day 700, whatever. We have users that have been with us for years and it's like a personal mission to help them grow their companies. And so we're checking in, we're following up, we're reaching out to ask if they need help with anything. We're following up, we're making sure they get that service level element in. And on the Square side, that's a really good question. Um, I, don't, I don't think we have a number one example realization. Uh, we talk to so many different retailers at Square that all the reasons why you may need Finale are all different. Um, however, as of a couple of, as of the last couple of weeks, um, we happened to talk to a few different sellers with Jerry that uh, we realized throughout the conversation wanted to sell or were currently selling on different sales channels outside of their brick and mortar location. Um, so it was a no brainer to, uh, to have finally uh, part of the conversation here to make sure that um, it will be a smooth transition, uh, making sure connecting, uh, making sure your point of sale inventory and your online sales channels inventories are fully integrated. Cheers. All right. I think that's a wrap for us here. Tom, Jerry, thank you so much for being here. Everyone who joined, awesome. Thanks so much for your time. Hopefully you learned a lot from this or you know walked away with a few, a few pieces to help improve your operations and your sales. Um, reach out to us on LinkedIn. You also know how to find us uh, on online. So thank you again, everyone, for being here. Here's to Thanks more.